Hello there guys, what is up? XN Elite here and today I'm going to show you how to take apart and uh, replace the thermal paste on a GTX 550 Ti so uh, let's get down to it uh, there's four screws and the clamp one, two, three, four these ones you need to take off to even get into it so let's do that unscrew unscrew Once that clamp is off, just pop it up and put it away somewhere safe for the moment. Um, let's put it here. As you can see, that's enough. What you need to do is pull it apart very slowly because there's a wire still inside. You need to take it off, as you can see here. So take that off and just put it to the side. I would place it like this, so you can put it down flat, and you can see the wire. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest uh, pulling the wire, I would suggest there's a wee um, white clip. Try and get a hold of that, and just wiggle it free, as so. So once that's away, there's your heat sink. Here is inside the graphics card. Oh, if I can hold it correctly. As you can see the chip is in the middle square with the thermal paste on it. I'll just leave that to one side for the moment. If you want to take the heatsink off and the fan, there's four black screws and these are just diagonally across from the clamp. Not the clamp, the screw placement. Oh, they're tight. I'd just done this. Um, once that's off, just pop it up and get these screws because you need to turn it upside down and you don't want these screws flying out everywhere. So, once that's them off, you can turn it around and there's your fan. I'm just going to put these screws somewhere, don't want to lose them. Um, the screws, in fact, look like this and they screw in at the sides here once you've done that there's your plastic casing for it put that to one side and there's your fan fan heatsink if I spin the fan you'll probably see it there's three screws you need to take them off so just place the fan and Get in between the grooves. Oh, oh, these are tight. There we go. And the screws just film the floor. I need to find that. Wish I'd done that. As you can see, the screws just film the floor. So just unscrew these. These shouldn't be that big. Once they're out, that'll just pop off. And the screws are about this size. So yeah, my hands are big by the way, but they are pretty small. And I've got thermal paste on me as well. So I'll get these three screws. I need to find the other one on the floor. Oh, found it. And just put these three screws somewhere safe. As you can see, my heat sink's pretty damaged. It's got a burn on it already. I don't know how that is. As you can see, the fan sits on top of this part, so... Unless the fan is burning itself. As you can see, heat damage around the sides. But yeah, once you've done that, um, just get a little brush, brush in between them, get all the crap away. If that doesn't work, because mine's was really thick with uh, dust, as you can see, some of it's still on there. 
Um, you can place this in water and give this a good wash. Oh, this is just a titanium heat sink. Um, yeah, that's it. Once that's done, you want to get a bit of kitchen roll. Oh, it means you just fell right apart. And screws are falling everywhere. I thought I put them in a good place. Um, yep, that one's gone. <laughs> I will find that one later. There's, as you can see, thermal grease on it. Just take that off. Best way to do it is a circular motion. And it comes off straight away. Yours might not be as easy to take off. Because mine's just fresh, brand new on. I'm just doing this again to show you. Um, that will grease all over my hand. Once that's done, get another clean part. Oh, I've lost that screw. Hmm. Sorry, I was looking for it though. Never mind, we must carry on. Once that's done, as you can see, there's thermal paste on the chip itself. This is to regulate heat from the chip itself to the heat sink. Obviously you don't want metal touching metal as it'll probably get heat up pretty fast and it'll probably cause a fire. So just suck on motion again and take it off the chip. Oh, now I've got it all over the place. No worries if you've got it on this part. Just Pretty much dab it until it's gone. I'm not going to get means perfect, but as you can see, it probably turns out to be a little amber, a mirror, pretty much. As you can see by the glare, <laughs> um, it's got an NVIDIA on it, if I can focus in. There we go. Now you can just clean this part up as well with a brush if you've got one. Just get the brush and gently go around it all. Taking any dust or anything. Or if you've got a CO2 spray, just use that and it'll spray it all away. Um, once that's done, you want to get your thermal paste. I've got mine right here. It's a TG2 uh, thermal grease. I've used this for Xboxes, PS3s, laptops, everything, and it's pretty much perfect for uh, usage. I do height, I do gaming on this, so my temperatures usually reach about 70, 78 degrees with this. And normal ones will probably hit 100. You don't want you don't want it hitting 100 because that happens. It starts burning. You don't want it burning this because it will just muck it up. No. You want to get your graphics so card. That. My uh, phone went out of uh, memory, so let's get on with that. Now you just want to get the thermal grease and on the chip, just put a small blob in the middle. And that should be enough. If you can't see that blob, there you go. Just get a little blob, and what I would suggest using people people usually suggest they get a like a cord and just using the cord and sweeping it across. But just get a plastic bag, put your finger around it at the corner of the bag, and use your finger and just go along it. So let's do that. I'll actually move it up to the camera so you can see it my hands getting in the way. And make sure the bag's not dirty. You don't want dirt sticking to the paste or anything. You don't want too much thermal paste on it, you just want just enough just to cover it. But obviously you want enough so there's no wee parts shown. And that looks pretty much perfect. 
So once it's done, try and focus on it a little bit. As you can see, the full mirrored part or the chip has been fully covered. Once that's done, you can get a poly bag and throw that away because you don't need it anymore. So put it down. You can clean up your fans, as you can see here. I've tried to do that. <laughs> I've actually scraped it, tried to get the dirt off it and dust because it was actually thick with it. You can still see here, in fact. So bits of dust and stuff inside. I don't know how to clean it. I don't know if you can put this in water or not. I would suggest not to because it's wild and stuff. You don't want to muck the fan up. Obviously, you can clean this. Uh, once you've done that, I think that's it all. Pretty much done. So, you want to get your case back. You, no, you don't want to do that first. <laughs> you want to get your heat sink. Line your heat sink up and get your fan. Turn it over. Now, the wired part, obviously, put that where there's no holes. So, put that over here. And just line up with the holes here. There we go. So once that's lined up, you want to get your screws. Your three silver screws. And just put them back in. This is the tricky part because you need to get a screw in between the fan blades and in the hole. And then screw it in. Hmm. Holy crap, I can't even get these screws in. <laughs> I'll actually skip it until I can get these screws in. Oh, never mind. Got a screw in. Probably better getting a screw in first, like so. I nearly dropped it there. So you can see the screw there. And lean it up. With the hole. Get your screwdriver and screw that sucker in. Once the first one's in, the rest of them are pretty much easy to get in. It's just the first one usually getting into it. So move the fan blades in between so you can get a space. Drop that screw. It would probably be a million times better if, you had a, if I had a magnetic one. A magnetic screwdriver. So make sure they're tight. Got it in. Finally. So once that's in, give it a little sp oh, I dropped it, what the hell? Just give it a spin, you can see everything's in. And it's working. Once that's done, you want to get your plastic part, plastic casing, get your fan, and get your fan heat sink and put it back in. What I suggest doing is line it up, so get your case, put it on, make sure, double check it fits in, it goes this way, pop back up, and place the fan in. Up, half went upside down. There we go, like so. You have to screw this back in with the four big screws like this. Now if you don't know what way the heatsink goes in, because it's shaped like this. On the graphics card itself, as you can see, there's a big line going round and the edge stops there. So you know which way to put it in. So, put that out of the way for a minute. Get your four big screws and place them in like so. Once you're screwed in, it should be nice and tight so it doesn't shake about. And you've got that wire just popping out here. And that is pretty much you, good to go. So you just want to get the case again. With your new thermal paste on it. What I was just doing is putting it at an angle so it's. So you're putting it in like this first. Because you can see there's a lip here, you want to get past that. So put that under the lip. Ah, wait there, in fact. I'm a noob. Wire. You need to connect that first. So wire. 
push in, tweak it a little click, and boom, that's it done. Fully connected at an angle, put it in. You just want to shake it down until these pins here pop through the holes. Once that's done, it's just nice and tight then. You want to get your clamp and place it back over. Now as you can see, I lost my screw in earlier in the video and I actually cannot find it anywhere. Oops. Put that one in. Now you do not want to put this in with three screws and the rest of them missing. With one missing in fact. You want to find the rest of the screws. So give me a minute and I shall go on a manhunt and find this screw. Okay. After a five minute manhunt, I found the screw. So put that in. Now when you're screwing these in, what you want to do make sure these are lined up. Now what you want to do is screw the first one in halfway or just screw it in a tiny bit. You want to do it full way. So screw it in halfway till it's in. You want to do one across from it, diagonal across. So this one, screw this one in halfway. You don't want to do it the full way, remember, because you don't want to balance these unevenly and have the heat sink pushing against the the uh, the chip. So halfway, screw in halfway. Back to the first one. Screw in until you feel it getting tight, leave it. Screw this one again until you feel it going tight. Do it with the rest of them. Uh, go back to the first one again and just screw this one down fully. And with the rest of them there. You want to keep, try and keep all the stickers on as well because you can see here this one says warranty void if removed you don't want to do that it's fine if they're peeling up a little bit but you don't want to take them off just go around them a couple of times make sure they're fairly tight you don't want them being loose at all so once that's in tight that is you good to go one graphics card cleaned Applied no thermal paste. And well, thanks for watching. If you've liked this, please leave a like rating and take the thermal paste off the end of this. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.